comes in all forms, and for one Heartland man, it's Legos. This afternoon, I'm showing you how he's using them as the building blocks of his cinematic universe. I, I think for myself personally, I, I definitely see myself as more of the, the artist type. Nathaniel Henley and Legos oh, click. Like, like, I'll watch something, I'll go, that was awesome, and then that's enough for me to like, okay, I'm going to go make a new movie now. He creates stop-motion Lego animations at his home in Metropolis, Illinois. So when I was in fourth grade, I got uh, stop-motion software for Christmas. I've been watching a lot of like YouTube videos uh, of people um, making stop-motions, and I certainly had a plethora of Legos uh, to accommodate that. No. These videos from 2010 would only be the beginning for him. In college, he'd win a Best Animation Award for his 30-minute Lego animation called Batman Identity Crisis. 30 minutes took two years to make. Uh, and consistently, not like taking breaks. I was consistently working on it pretty much every single night. Um, and uh, usually, if, if I have nothing going on in that day, I will, no joke, spend about eight hours animating a day. Animating takes about 70% of its production time, but says each click, shot, and removement isn't really work for him. Because it doesn't feel like 600 hours, it feels like I've got a good video that I'm proud of. Which he shares for everybody to see online. Then it clicks. You know, then people say, oh, that's why you've been locked up in your room for, you know, uh, two years. He doesn't just work on Batman, though. That is you. Um, <laughs> yeah. Wait, how long did it take to make me? Uh, oh, you know, about two minutes. Lego reporter Jeffrey has made his way to television. He says this short animation shows me jumping into my next story. Kind of like how easy it is for him One. to dive into his next project. It's, you can do anything with it. You can do a comedy, you can do a musical, you can do whatever. It is its own genre of film. Lego and animation and, and uh, toys and stuff are not exclusively for kids anymore. There, there's a whole world of uh, literal like money-making jobs that involve you know, animating. He says while money is nice, it's more of a way to decompress. For me, this is like my art medium. Uh, you know, this is no different than uh, when an when a artist um, or a painter goes to paint on a canvas or whatever, you know, they each have their own specific medium, their own style. Uh, and this is just my way of, of doing this. 